an iconic Billings landmark, Oscars Park, was flooded when the Yellowstone River spilled its banks. Now, weeks later, family and friends are sorting through what is left of the history. This hit us, this hit us hard. We lost a lot of family history, but also local history, um, just the things that my parents saved. Oh, just to dry. Marcy Cook Limp is the daughter of Oscar and Marcella Cook, the originators of what was then called Oscar's Dreamland. Limp is now left with the task of going through four generations of family history that was stored on the land and figuring out what can be saved. Among the items are precious photographs that her father Oscar took. All those photos are in here. We're trying to dry them out. We're saving what we can. You don't replace photos that the gentleman took 100 years ago. This isn't the first time Oscar's Park was flooded. Back when Limp was 12 years old, flooding in 1974 took place. That I was here with my dad that day and it was horrible. I did basically the same thing it did to us this time. So I've lived through the 100 year and now I've lived through the 500 year and I'm done. <laughs> the wedding venue and many of the historic homes at Oscars Park made it out unharmed. However, the over 140-year-old first schoolhouse in Yellowstone County, which was on the property, was damaged. It needed work anyhow, was on our next list to fix. Um, but unfortunately, the funds that were there for it are no longer because <laughs> they're up here now trying to save what we can. So it's in very, very sad shape. With the busy upcoming summer, the Limps only had to cancel one event due to the flooding, a family reunion. Even though that family could not attend their event, they have now set up a GoFundMe page for the park dedicated to the schoolhouse. As for the future of Oscars Park? Just do the same, same darn thing my dad did, just rebuild. In Billings, Haley Monaco, MTN News.